All right, I want to welcome you. This is a very special session. We delivered three sessions, and originally we had entitled this three days with a step by step training from myself on how to take control of your life. And we decided we wanted to add some bonus training for you. So that's exactly what we're doing right here, right now. You see, in session three of Ready to Take Control, I had said that what you're going to do, and this is effectively what you're doing, is you're going to teach your body what the future feels like. Now, what are we talking about what the future feels like? We're talking about you living your amazing life as you would love to be living your life. Please know it is absolutely possible. You no longer have to play small in this world. You can live an extraordinary life, a completely fulfilled life, an abundant life, a happy life, a joyful life, if that is what you desire. So a very important part of creating that for you in your life not only consistently, but where your life truly gets better and better every single day is that you need to create a powerful, successful self image. And that's what this session is all about. It's all about you and you bringing out a greater and grander version of who you already are. You see that power, that potential is absolutely within you. My responsibility is to draw it out, to bring out the greatest and grandest version of who you are so that you can and are living an amazing life. And as you know, this is exactly what I've done for myself. So I'm here to guide you on how to do it for yourself as well. Now, I'm not saying there's something wrong with your life or something wrong with you. I think you're perfect just the way you are. But as a human being, it's very natural to want and desire to have more, to experience more, to do more, and to be more. All right. So this is really the beingness of you is what we are talking about right here, right now. So what is your self-image? What is your self-image? Well, your self-image is how you view yourself, how you feel about yourself. And essentially, it is the belief that you have within you, in your heart, in your subconscious mind, that really is what you would say if someone said, tell me about you. What do you like? What do you think? How do you feel? And when you have a successful self-image, it comes across as someone who is self-assured. They feel strong about who they are. They have what some people might call confidence, wonderful, unstoppable confidence. And when you have that, ooh you'll be impressed with what you can create in your life. So how do you know if someone has a great self-image? Well, it's easy. It's by the way they hold themselves, by the way that they speak, by the actions that they take, by the behaviors that they're involved in, the habits that they are doing every single day. And of course, we know what someone's like by their results. So again, I want you to understand that if we evaluate and just choose to have the awareness to notice how we are, how we're showing up in the world, and to recognize where we can do and be even better, and we're honest with ourselves about that, and have no bad feelings associated to that because that doesn't serve you in any way whatsoever, except for maybe inspiring you to make some positive changes. So if you've seen, and I'm certain you have, someone with a strong sense of self, you can see the way they're walking, the way they hold themselves, the way they speak, the way they speak to another, the way they speak to themselves. You can tell if someone has a sense of confidence or not. So what I'm going to help you do is build such a strong sense of yourself that you are this being who is experiencing what you want. I also want to say this. If you've ever seen someone who's very confident, which I know you have, and you see their success, it inspires, it can inspire you to create even better and better results. Now, I am here to say that many years ago, I had a very low, 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 like in the toilet kind of low self-esteem, self-confidence. I didn't love who I was. As a matter of fact, if I happened to walk by a mirror or a window or something that reflected back my image, I would 
almost say things like, ew, it was a disgust. I actually didn't even like myself. And understandably, the way I was, you now I can see why I didn't like myself, but I made a decision and I invested in myself and I got on with the work. And as a result, everything in my life got better. Now understand, it didn't get better overnight. It did not. It took time. I did invest in myself. I went to seminars over and over again. I studied materials over and over again. I studied it like I was a scientist. And I just really wanted to, I was hungry, hungry, hungry for this understanding and this knowledge because I knew that the people that I was learning from many, many years ago knew a heck of a lot more about creating success than I did at that time. So I followed the guidance of others. And this is a fast track way to success is to follow the guidance of others. When you follow the guidance of others, what you're going to find is they're going to shave off potentially years of your time. They will help you stop the struggle because if you're in the world trying to make this happen on your own and you don't understand what are the steps, what do I need to do? How do I do this? That was a frustration that I had for years going to these seminars and they'd say, you need to build a strong self-image. It's like, okay, how, how, how? I mean, I'd be sitting in the room and it's like I'm screaming in my mind. I want to know how. I understand that I need to build the beliefs. I understand that this is necessary and essential for success. But would you please tell me how? And so what I did was I created my own tools. I implemented tools and I began to experience great results. So now I'm here to help you understand in such a simplistic way, such an easy way to implement way so that you can be experiencing what it is that you desire. So there's gonna be huge benefits for you to create this strong, successful self-image. The first one is you're gonna feel good about yourself. You'll feel free to be yourself. Be yourself, you don't have to pretend to be something that you're not or pretend to be, be, I don't know, whatever, when you don't really feel that way. I'm talking about authentically building the image that feels real and feels true for you. All right. This isn't something that's just phony baloney. We're going to put a band aid on top of a, a big bobo. We're talking about permanent change, depth at a level that you will permanently change, okay? Now, people are gonna be attracted to you, drawn to you. You're gonna look better. You'll likely be standing better. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna pursue and accomplish your goals with greater ease. Now, I just wanna stop here for one moment. There are so many benefits. Like I just pulled off the top benefits that I am aware of. There are many, 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 many more. And even if only one of these benefits causes you to experience greater results in your life, it's a bonus, right? Now your results are gonna be reflected by your self image. You're gonna just feel good about who you are. You're gonna have more fun than you've ever had before. You're gonna be more fun than you've ever been before. You're likely gonna feel so much more relaxed. You'll be more adventurous and you'll likely go for those bigger goals and stretch yourself and accomplish more than you've ever accomplished ever in your life. Now, your self-image was built from the moment you showed up on this earthly plane. It was built when you were young. Now, our parents, guardians, whoever was influential or instrumental in our upbringing were influencing us. And yes, that can include teachers or caregivers, can include coaches of teams and things like that. By the time you were seven years of age, your self-image was already created. Now, the great news is, depending on what your self-image was or is, you can change it. So you can change it. And that's what I'm here for, is to help you understand how to change it for the good, forever and ever and ever, amen. Now, Eleanor Roosevelt said this. She said, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Now, you may have heard these words before. You made me feel. You may have even said those words before. But the truth is, nobody Nobody makes you feel anything unless and until you give them permission. So if someone says something about you and it's not nice or you don't like it, understand that you are in control. We're talking about taking control, right? You're in control of how you feel always 
in all ways. This is our self-image we're talking about. We're talking about you taking control of your self-image and not allowing anything outside of you to impact the way you feel about yourself, right? This is what I'm talking about. So understand that if someone says something to you and you choose to feel bad, let's say someone said to you that you are foolish, that you make foolish decisions, and you choose to feel bad about that. The only reason why you would feel bad about that is because you believe there's some truth in what they're saying. Think about that for a moment, right? Think about that. So if someone said to you, you're foolish, but you know you're not, or they may appear, or it may appear that you're being foolish, but you know you're not being foolish, just say, oh, that's interesting that you would think that way. Maybe give them another perspective or just let it go because it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks of you. So do not allow anyone to enter into your consciousness and have you feel inferior. Don't allow it. Just reject. Reject. You have that ability. Your conscious mind is a reasoning factor. Your conscious mind can decide whether you will or will not accept an idea. So if someone said something to you, negatively about you reject it hmm, that's interesting ah, i reject simple right overly simple maybe but it's true and effective and that's what you really want to understand is how effective this can be don't let anyone trample around in your mind with their dirty feet i remember seeing that as a quote one time just don't let it happen enough just say no more make a decision right here right now today no more now, what happens is it's not necessarily what someone else is saying that's the, the deal with your self-image. It's what you're feeling and thinking about yourself. That's a bigger deal. You've got to really be paying attention to what you're thinking about yourself. And if you think a thought that you're not good enough or not powerful enough or not strong enough or whatever, throw it out. Throw out that idea. Reject that idea. This is part of the way that you're going to be building a new successful self image is by having a greater sense of awareness. The more aware you are, the more aware you are about your thoughts and your feelings and making decisions to switch out of the negativity over to the positivity, the better it's going to go for you. All right, the better it's going to go for you. And that's what I want for you is better and better and better results. So when you're looking to create a powerful self-image, make a decision right now with me. Make a decision. Yes, Peggy, I love this idea. I'm doing this. I'm making a decision right now. I'm going for it. And then follow up with action. Now, I'm going to recommend the action to take, okay? I got you all the way, taking you all the way down the road here. So follow up with some action. And do the work every single day. There's going to be some effort involved, but I'll tell you this. It's fun, it's simple, and it works. And it's definitely going to work for you. It's worked for me. Like I know now my self-image is completely different. Completely different to what it was 42 years ago when I began this study. And of course, as a result, I'm living this amazing life. And I attracted my wonderful husband into my life. I've attracted my wonderful team into my business. I've attracted my wonderful clients into my life as well. And everything in my life is absolutely wonderful, magnificent. And I'm grateful for it all, all of it. Absolutely grateful for it. Now I built it. The self image was built just like you would build anything. It's a belief system that you have within you about who you are. And what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about building a new belief system that's going to support you in the things that you've decided that you would really, 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 really love, as was covered off in the session one of Ready to Take Control. So ask yourself this question. Write this question down. You don't have to answer it right now, although you could but definitely follow through with the answer to this question. What do you need to believe in order to have a powerful self image? Now, here's another version of that question for you. It's not written on the page, but you could also write this down. What do you need to believe about yourself? What do you need to believe about yourself in order to experience the goals that you've set for yourself? 
What do you need to believe about yourself in order to experience the goals you have set for yourself? Please write that question down and follow through with the answer. Okay, so perhaps some of those ideas, those concepts of building that belief system within you is that you're worthy. I am worthy, right? And you write out the answer to this question in the present tense with I am statements. I am worthy. I am incredible. I am loved. I love myself. I'm powerful beyond measure. I can do anything I set my mind to, and I do anything I set my mind to, and I accomplish all my goals with ease. You know, I feel really good about who I am. You know, things like that. We're not talking about being egotistical or arrogant. We're talking about having a calm sense of confidence and knowing about this magnificent being that you are, and you are a magnificent being, you're powerful beyond measure. The things that you can accomplish, like you've only just slightly touched on that. There is so much more that you can do, have, be, experience in this world, and I want to help you with that. But you got to meet me halfway, all right? I'm going to give you everything I've got, absolutely everything I possibly have. But you got to meet me halfway, which means you've got to follow through, all right? I know that the only reason why I'm sitting here is because I followed through on the guidance of my mentors and because I did invest in myself and I never questioned it. I truly believe the best investment that you can make, that I can make, is the investment in yourself absolutely best investment. You know, you can buy things, you can go on trips, you can do things with your money. You can do things with money you don't even have people borrow money all the time. But when you decide you're going to become a better version of you, that you're going to commit to your dreams, that you recognize that this life, this wonderful life, this blessed life that you've been given is happening right here, right now, you're alive here right now. It's time. It's absolutely time for you. You've got to take this seriously. Now, when I say take this seriously, I'm talking about having fun with it. I did series and series of videos for years. And at the end of it, I always say, and have fun with it and have fun with it. Now, why would I say and have fun with it? Because when you're having fun, you're in what kind of state? A feel good state, right? You're feeling good. You're feeling really good. So when you're having fun doing this work, when you're choosing, because fun is a choice, to have fun while you're doing this work, you're going to be far more relaxed. You're going to be calm. And it's calm a mind that gets things done. So that's what I would suggest for you. Now, you can choose one affirmation. I just gave you some examples. I am worthy. I love myself. I believe in myself. I accomplish anything I set my mind to. Create affirmations that you're going to commit to, it could be one, it could be several, and declare them with enthusiasm. Now, what do I mean by that? <laughs> what I mean is if you're going to say, I am worthy, I deserve every success that I desire in my life, that you feel it, that you really feel it. So you must believe it when you say it. Now, what are you doing when you're doing that? By saying these affirmations with conviction with enthusiasm. What you're doing is you're building the muscle. You're building the muscle of faith. You're building it so strong inside of you. You're building that strong confidence and everything is going to get better, right? So you can say one affirmation. You could say several affirmations. You could create a series of affirmations that you're seeing every single day that talk about you and how amazing you are and how amazing your life is. And you are essentially creating a new belief system of a powerful self-image. This is what you're doing. You're doing this repeatedly. And this is how you build the new self-image. Now, the reason why you may or may not have been doing this in the past is because it isn't yet, and I say the word yet, a habit. But you can make it a habit. I suggest you do. I'm in the habit of working on my self-image every single day. It has become a habit of mine, a habit that I love, a habit that I'm committed to, because it does impact my life in a positive way. I am a strong woman. I've had so many people say to me that I'm the, I'm the strongest person they've ever met, which kind of surprises me to, to some degree. And uh, I appreciate it. But you know why? It's because I built it. 
because I work on this every single day. Yes, I'm a teacher. Yes, I'm a mentor. Yes, I'm guiding people. But I work on me every single day. I help others every single day as well. But I'm also working on myself. And this is what I'm going to encourage you to do. So you make this a daily practice, just like you would if you're working on your physical body and you want to become toned and in great shape and looking awesome. You're going to work on your physical body. Like if you decided right now you're going to get in the best shape of your life. I have a friend who made that decision a while ago, and he's about to turn 60. And he made a decision to get in the best shape of his life. And he is toned like I've never seen him toned before. He has more energy than he's ever had before. Why? Because he works out regularly. Now, he's also a very positive person. And all of this material is something that he believes in. We've delivered programs together. But it's a daily practice. So a strong self-image is really building an emotional muscle within you. And you've got to do it every single day. Otherwise, it becomes sloppy, right? And it's the same thing with your physical body. If you're not working out your physical body on a regular basis, it becomes sloppy, saggy. And that's what ultimately happens to the physical body. Same thing with your mind. And you've got to be working your mind every day in positive ways. I love this quote. It's not who you think you are that holds you back. It's who you think you're not. For example, let's say you've seen someone who is wonderfully successful. They're earning millions of dollars doing work that they love. And you look at them and you have the thought that you're not like them or you couldn't do what they're doing. You see, that's really what this quote means. It's not who you are that holds you back. It's who you think you're not. But to some degree, I don't necessarily agree with this entire quote. And here's why. It's not who you are that holds you back. It actually is who you are that holds you back. It is. It's also who you think you're not, interestingly enough. So when you have a low self-image or a not a strong self-image, in other words, you don't really believe in yourself, you're going to be held back. You know, many years ago, many, many years ago, I remember Bob Proctor said this to me. He said, get out of your own way. There was a particular goal that I was going for, and Bob and I were chatting about it, and he said, get out of your own way, go for it. And I thought a lot about those words, get out of your own way. I want you to think about that for a moment. The person that's in your way, that's really holding you back from the success that you would love, is you. That's the person. Look in the mirror, and you're going to see that person. That's the person that's holding you back. However, here's the wonderful news about all of that. The person that's going to take you to where you want to go is also looking back in the mirror. Fascinating, isn't it? And so, yes, I can help you, but I can't do the work for you. I can't put the words in your mouth. I can't move your mouth like a puppet. You've got to do it. All right. You have to follow through. So the more you're focusing on your self-image and you're building it, the stronger your self-image will be. and really important here, the more you're going to accomplish. Also, the amount of money that you're going to earn is also tied to your self image. So when you see someone who's earning millions of dollars, or you see someone who is in poverty, perhaps on government assistance, or has no income whatsoever, it is based on how they feel about themselves. What do they think they're worth? Now, I don't think that anyone wants to struggle. I really don't think so. Now, why is it that so many people are? Why is it that 97% of the population is earning 3% of the money and 3% of the population is earning 97% of the money? You've got the answer. It's how they feel, what they believe, and how they what, what their self-image is. This is the reason. You definitely want to take this seriously. You want to pay attention to what I'm talking about here. I know one individual who took their income and multiplied it by 43 times by simply working on their self-image. Now, we could sit here all day long, and I could give you story after story after story of people who built a strong self-image and went on to accomplish extraordinary things. I want you to know 
that the power is within you and the opportunity is right here right now you don't even have to look any further do not look beyond the walls it's right where you are right now and i can help you i'm here to help you but you got to help yourself too so what someone else thinks about you it's not important completely irrelevant and you shouldn't be concerned with it there was a book that I read many, many years ago by Terry Cole Whitaker, and I love the title. And the title alone is a great lesson. What you think of me is none of my business. I'm not concerned of what someone thinks about me. You know what's interesting? I remember years ago, I did a lot of speaking at an event that Mark Victor Hansen put on. And I remember Mark Victor Hansen said this. He said, the higher you rise, in other words, the more successful you become, the more people will throw stones at you. And I thought about that. And of course, it doesn't sound very attractive. People are going to throw stones at you, but he's not talking about literally people are throwing stones at you. He's talking about criticism, right? And I remember one time I was speaking at an event in San Diego called I Can Do It. It was a special event that the Hay House organization had put on for thousands of people. And they had a number of their authors there to speak at this event. I was one of them. Hay House has published four of my 19 books. And I remember being in the speaker room and I was there with the other Hay House speakers like Louise Hay and Wayne Dyer and Greg Braden and Doreen Virtue and Sonia Choquette and James Twyman and all these wonderful speakers that were there to deliver their message at the event. And I remember looking around the room and thinking, what really separates this group of individuals from others? And I would say it's because they believe they belong there. They believe they're worthy of delivering a message and they're serious students, right? And so other people would criticize, not everybody's gonna like everyone or every teacher speaker. And I remember there was a conversation going on between a couple of the speakers. And it was with regard to the reviews on Amazon that people post about these authors books. And you can look at the most successful book in the world, the most successful author in the world, and you'll definitely find criticism. You'll find people who have said nasty things, but what does it matter? Do you think it stopped that author from writing their next book? No, absolutely not. So you're not going to please all the people all the time and just understand that. It, when you believe in your own self-worth and you believe in your own value, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't. It literally does not matter. Now, Bob Proctor is a friend and a mentor of mine, and he said, if you want to change your results, you've got to change your paradigms. Now, the reason why I put that particular quote in this presentation is because your paradigms are your belief systems that literally determine everything about you what you're thinking, how you're feeling, how you're acting, what your habits are, what you're doing. And of course, they're reflected in your results. So if you want to change your results, change your belief about who you are. It's one of the best things you can do for yourself. All right. So you want to do it every single day. Now, there are things that will absolutely poison or sabotage a self image. Now, I particularly put this slide in black because it's dark, right? And I want to point these out so that you have the awareness of any time you may be either sabotaging your success or blocking your success or holding yourself back. Maybe you're in your own way this way. But here are the things that actually negatively impact positive results, and that is constantly apologizing. And you may have seen people that are like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're like constantly. Now, I'm a Canadian. Canadians tend to say I'm sorry a lot. So that's not uncommon for us to do that. I think we're sort of bred into our conscious mind as a child to say sorry, 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 sorry. So it's not always a reflection of a, a bad self-image, but sometimes it can be. Or people that complain, whiners, complainers, they're criticizing. They're complaining about the weather. They're complaining about the politics. They're complaining about their neighbor. They're just complain, complain, complain. That hurts you. It hurts you. You may be saying it even when no one's hearing you. It hurts you. So stop criticizing. Stop complaining. Stop over apologizing. Stop comparing yourself to others. 
Do not compare yourself to others. Just work on your own self. Do not judge others. Don't gossip about other people. Don't speak badly about anything or anyone. Bite your tongue if you find yourself doing that. Jealousy is an example of a poor self-image. Envy is ignorance, as Bob used to say, meaning not knowing. Arrogance, egotism, all examples of low self-image. So if you're involved in any of these things, stop it. All right. And I say that with all the love in my heart, because I want you to have great results in your life. But these things will negatively impact your results. Okay, so tools. We talked about tools in the third session of Ready to Take Control. I want to add a tool to this. And the tool I'm going to add is Identity Board. Now, I've talked about using affirmations, doing mirror work, which is really standing in front of a mirror and saying things over and over again. Power Life Script, my most powerful technique. We'll talk about that a little bit more as it relates to self-image in a moment. But body movement. You can actually move your physical body, hold your arms outstretched like in a V, or stand with your arms Rest it on your hips, feeling good. You stand upright, feeling good. That actually can change how you're feeling about yourself as well. Or writing, like writing in a journal, writing out your, your top goal every single day, or writing an affirmation about yourself, or journaling, or exercise. Exercise, other really good tools to bring about. Taking care of yourself is really important. So remember this, success isn't about what you are doing. Growth comes as a result of what and how you are feeling. Now, what you're doing can positively impact it when you're doing positive things, but ultimately all of it is designed to create emotional states, which build the beliefs. This is really what it's all about. You're building beliefs. This is a process. So what I suggest is write out an identity statement. You could script it. How would you define the person who has achieved all your goals? How would you define that person? And what is the identity of that person? And then you choose to be that person. Now, you could write this out as a separate, separate thing, or you could include it in your Power Life script as well. Now, I include it in my Power Life script. All right. I talk in my Power Life script not only about the amazing things that I'm blessed to enjoy and experience in my life, but I also talk about how I feel about myself. I talk about who I choose to be, who I am in the present tense. And none of it is saying in the future I will be or I will be confident or I will be. It's all now. It must be in the affirmative, in the now. All right. So create the identity of the person who is the success that you desire to be. So what would that be like? You would write it and write it in the present tense. I am a wonderfully successful person. I set my goals and I achieve them with great ease. I am a powerful influencer for only positivity in this world. I am making a positive contribution to the lives of millions. I believe in myself. I believe in who I am. I love myself. I am worthy of success. I deserve to succeed. I appreciate my success. Those would be all wonderful statements to use. You can certainly use those if you desire. Now, here's an example of an identity board that I've created. And I did this many, many years ago. And essentially what I did was after following through with identifying how I would love to live my life, who I need to become in order to have that life, I created tools, Power Life Script was one of them, but I also created an identity board. Now, I did the identity board many, many years ago, back in the 90s, and I just wrote out words that described this successful woman. You know, who am I? Put the photo in the middle. I put it on a giant Bristol board. I framed it, and I put it on the wall in my bedroom, so I'd see it every day. I also did the same with my son. So anyone that has children or friends or colleagues, get them to create an identity board as well. Now, how I used this tool was the following. First of all, I created it and it was a lot of fun. You know, I found a photo of myself, stuck it in the middle. I wrote all these words out in a Word document. I printed them and I have a version of this that's in color as well and did different fonts and bold. And then I cut them out and I actually, I taped them or glued them to this Bristol board. Actually, I glued them to the Bristol board. 
And then I framed it and put it on my wall. That's how I did the identity board. So every day I would look at it on my wall and I would say, this is who I choose to be today. This is who I choose to be. And at night, just before I'd go to bed, I'd look at my identity board and say, is this who I was today? And if it didn't feel like I was, you know, exciting or understanding or whatever, maybe not all of these things, then I would just make a decision. This is who I will be tomorrow morning when I wake up, put my feet on the ground, and I'm stepping into this identity. You want to step into the identity of you as a success every day. And you can do this. You can just imagine that the moment you put your feet on the ground after getting out of bed, that you're going to take on the persona of success. This is who you're going to be today. And you walk around and you operate as if that is who you are. All right. So affirmations, remember to say them with emotion. You've got to feel them. It's important to really feel the affirmations that you're saying. And a great way to do affirmations is in front of a mirror, looking at yourself eye to eye. And you may say one affirmation or two affirmations. You may say, I love myself and I am worthy of success. I deserve to succeed. You could say that, and every day you're saying it over and over again. You may want to put a little card, tape it to your mirror so that you see it every single day. I have one client who wrote her affirmations on her mirror with lipstick. Whatever works for you. The point is, it's not that you're doing it or how you're doing it. It's that you are actually involved in these exercises every single day. So here's some examples of some affirmations. I love me. I feel really good about who I am. I'm a confident person. I set my goals and I reach them. I easily manifest everything that I decide to manifest. I love myself just the way I am. Think about that statement for a moment. I've worked with individuals who have been maybe not at their ideal weight, but I said, love yourself just the way you are. You could see yourself as a thin person if that's what you desire. You could see yourself that way. And that's what you want to do. And you're creating that identity as well. Maybe you could say, I look in the mirror and I feel good about what I see. Remember earlier, I said that anytime I walked by a mirror or saw a reflection of myself in a window, I would think, ew, I mean, that we're going back 40 some odd years. Not now. I feel good about myself. You know, one of the things that people are really good at is unconditionally loving, unconditionally loving others, their children or family members or their spouse, but where they sometimes aren't as effective is unconditionally loving yourself. I would suggest you start today to unconditionally love yourself. It will absolutely serve you. So, and then take care of your physical self too. Like one of the reasons why people don't feel good about themselves is because they're burning themselves out. Maybe they're not eating well, they're not drinking healthy things. So get plenty of rest, eat healthy, drink healthy, exercise, treat yourself and pamper yourself, dress with style and take care of your physical appearance. The more you take care of this, this outer shell, the more it demonstrates you love yourself, you appreciate yourself. And it's not that difficult to do. This is also very, very easy to do. And you're going to find you're going to feel great and feel better and better about yourself. And of course, movement, physical movement can impact how you feel as well. You know, have you ever gone dancing? Like dancing, you know, not everybody loves dancing. I do. But dancing can cause you to feel good. Why? Because you're moving your physical body and you're listening to music that causes you to feel good, right? So move like a successful person, stand like a successful person, walk as a successful person, do that victory move every day, looking up. Woo, thank you, God. Whatever it is, just feel it in your body. Do it now with me. Yes, yes. Or even saying that word, yes. I remember when I did a fire walk where you walk on hot burning coals many years ago. I've done six of them actually. And it was my second fire walk, and it was a rather lengthy one. I think it was 20 feet. You know, I, I sometimes have said it was 40. I don't think it was 40. It must have been 20 feet. And I remember one of the practices of getting ready to walk on these hot burning coals was to do something called a power move. And I did this, this second uh, fire walk around 1995. Actually, I did two in 1995, my first two. 
And I remember this power move is now my power move is I'll stand up and I'll just do it for you right now. I stand up and I get lots of energy in my body and I go, yes, 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 yes. And that, what that does, it, it puts me in what's called a peak state, right? You're feeling like unstoppable. And so since 1995, it was actually September 95 when I did this big, long power walk. Since then, I've been doing it every day. I actually do my power move every day. Yes, every morning I do my power, power move. And so what does the power move do? Puts energy in your body right? Causes you to feel good, feel strong. That's what you want to do. So if you have a power move, maybe it's this one, you know, that I just did, you know, where your arms up in the air and you're feeling yes, yes, yes. Maybe that's going to be your power move, or maybe it's the same one that I have. Yes. But any, whatever way you do it, any way you choose to do it, just know that this is another technique, moving your physical body that can help you feel better about who you are. The Power Life Script, the most powerful technique to manifest your dreams with desire. Also, the most powerful technique to build a strong self-confidence, right? Your self-image. This is what it is. Why? Because it impresses ideas into your conscious mind through space-time repetition over and over and over and over again until you feel it and you believe it, right? Because when you hear something over and over and over again, you will start to believe it. So include in your Power Life Script how you feel about yourself as well and how amazing you are and how accomplished you are and how strong you are or whatever it is you want to say okay so include that in your power life script so when you're writing out your power life script remember these are just reminders we've already talked about this in another one of our ready to take control sessions you're living as if this is in your life now it's now it's present tense only positive words only you would not say i'm no longer you know, insecure. You wouldn't say that. You only want to give energy to the things that you desire because what you focus on expands, right? Be descriptive. Create word pictures of your outcomes. Include all areas of your life. So here we're talking about self-image, but include the things that you've accomplished. Include the important people in your life as well. And describe your successful self-image as part of it. Mine is kind of woven through my Power Life script. Because I know that in order to create the results that I desire in my life, I must be the person who has already accomplished those things. Okay? Very important. Now, Bob Proctor talks often about the power of repetition. You know, recently, Bob created a, an audio for me. The only meditations I listen to now are meditations that Bob created for me. They're all custom meditations. And the other morning, it was like 521 in the morning, I got a text from Bob. And he said, repetition, Peggy, repetition, you know, like, make sure you're listening to that audio. So I listen to it multiple times a day. So Bob, no worry there, I got the message 42 years ago, when I first met you at my very first seminar. But that's it. Why is repetition so important? Because right now, where you are right now is based on what you believed coming up to this point. Right. When you want to create something new in your life, when you've decided you're going to create extraordinary results, there's going to be some work involved. You got to change this version of who you are now and understand it's going to take some time. It doesn't happen in a day. You know, that expression, Rome wasn't built in a day. Your powerful self image wasn't built in a day either. So, how you build it, how you produce better results is through repetition. It's through repetition in this training and the studying and the application and and it's a daily wonderful experience that you're going to have so definitely be involved in the repetition i had shared with you a process that i created a daily discipline tracking sheet so decide what am i going to do every single day what are you going to do every single day it's going to take you to where you want to go create that list i'm going to do my identity board i'm going to be be with it. I'm going to visualize myself as that successful person. I'm going to listen to my power life script every day. I'm going to do my affirmations. I'm committing to it. Now, another way that actually, as Bob says, is a, is an insurance policy for success is get an accountability buddy. You know, find someone who is like minded, who's totally into these materials, into self improvement, and say to them, "Listen, I've decided that I'm taking my life to a whole new level." And I'm committing to certain things that I will be doing every single day. And I'd love for you to be my accountability buddy. Here's how that's going to work. Every week, I'm going to send you a list of what I absolutely intend on accomplishing, but you write your list as if it's already done. 
the end of that week, I'll send an update along with a new list. And you do that every single week. I've been working with my accountability buddies for many, many, many years. Now, what that does, just to give you the, the foundation for that idea, is it sends an intention, sets an intention, sends an intention to the universe. You're committed to accomplishing it. And now you've told someone else you're doing it. You see, this is why it raises up your chances of success to up to 95%. That's why Bob says this is like an insurance insurance policy for success. So get yourself an accountability partner and do this with them. And a bonus way to build a successful self-image, and to me, this is the best way, is to help another. Be the source of what it is that you desire. Now, we can help you with that. Become a Destiny Coach. Go to destinycoaches.com. We can show you how you can help others, and we've created and built the programs for you. It's like a business in a box where we show you how to be a successful coach. And the more you're helping others, the more it's going to help yourself. I found that from experience. You know, I didn't have to be on here today delivering this training, but I love you. I want to help you. I'm committed to your success. And I know that, and I didn't do it for this reason, but the more I help another, good comes back my way. It's not why I do it. It's unconditional. And when you unconditionally give, you will absolutely receive. It is law. It's the way it works in this world. It's a natural law of the universe. What you put out, you get back. Put out good, you get back good. When you're a successful coach, when you're a coach and you're helping other people create success in their life, there's no other way but for you to be successful. So take it very seriously. Take a look at it and you can book an appointment with one of our, our uh, success advisors because they'll let you know whether this is a good fit for you, whether you're a good fit for us as well. That's important. But the only prerequisite, there's only one prerequisite and that is desire. Do you have the desire to help another? Do you have a desire to create an unlimited income? Do you have the desire to improve your life in ways you've only ever dreamed of before? Well, if so, Destiny Coaches is your answer. So take a look at it very, very seriously. It's now time for you to take some action. So implement what I've shared with you here today. Build your foundation, your powerful and successful self-image based on what I've guided you here with. Follow through with your daily discipline checklist as well. And I know for certain you are going to benefit in ways that you've probably not even thought of. It is so good, so good for you. And that's what we're looking to create more good in your life. Because the more good in your life, it ripples, it affects, it affects your family, it affects your friends, it affects the people that you're blessed to help. And the more you help another, the better it's going to go for you. There we go. All right, my friends. Well, it's such a pleasure to be with you again. I look forward to seeing you. Check out Destiny Coaches, book an appointment with our success advisor, and make sure you implement what I'm sharing with you today.